Hey there, I'm Lucas Bond with the Missouri Department of Conservation and today on Habitat Hints, we're going to talk about the importance of aquatic vegetation. And I'm joined here by DJ Loken and he's going to tell us all we need to know and why it's important to have that aquatic vegetation. Let me turn this around and we'll get to talking. All right, so we're talking aquatic vegetation. So DJ, first and foremost, you hear a lot of people of like, oh, I've got this in my pond and I don't want it there. But aquatic vegetation isn't bad. It's actually a good thing, right? Yeah, aquatic vegetation gets a bad rap. Um, you know, there's so many benefits to it, whether it is uh, forage for fish, you know, because fish love insects. Aquatic vegetation is loaded with aquatic insects. So it's important in that aspect. It's also really important for uh, cover, mm -hmm. especially when you're talking to your young fish. Right after spawn, your young of the year, you know, a couple day old fish to a couple month old fish need those vegetated areas to hide from predators, whether it's big bass or your catfish, you know, either or, they need a spot to hide. So it provides cover, it provides food, um, and then it's also important because it does provide some thermal cover. You know, in Missouri, we, our water temperatures, especially in farm ponds, you know, will reach in the mid 80s. So if there's a spot where fish can get into, you know, and cool down a little bit, that may be the difference between having a fish kill and not having a fish kill. So wh what, is, what do you call this? What is this aquatic vegetation right here? So right here, we've got, we've got cattails. So cattails to me are one, of the, are one of those plants that are super beneficial, but get a terrible rap. Um, now, I granted, if your entire pond is, you know, encircled with cattails and you can't fish, yes, we have a problem. Um, but otherwise, you know, they'll grow out into a foot and a half of water. So that provides great, uh, great habitat mm -hmm. for small fish. Almost every time you walk around cattails, you will have, you know, fish scurry out of there. Um, the other big one is when you have cattails on the upper ends of your pond, you know, think of where water runs in. It is, uh, it's nature's filter. So when heavy rains come in carrying a lot of sediment, the cattails will slow down the water and all that sediment should trap out uh, in the base of the cattails. And yeah, you'll end up with a little more cattail encroachment, but it's better than your pond turning into chocolate milk and having sediment throughout the whole water column. A lot of it gets stopped by those cattails. What about, you know, some of the vegetation or like the moss looking stuff? Is that always bad? So algae is something we're always going to have to deal with in Missouri. You know, okay, yeah. You know, it's, it's right here. We've just got a ton of rain the last week and a half. Mm -hmm. So you're going to have it. It's going to be there. There are ways to mitigate it. Um, you know, you can make sure you have good filter strips around your pond to buffer out excess nutrients. Um, but the more rooted vegetation you have soaking up nutrients, the less algae you're going to end up with. Um, and algae, it also fixes oxygen just like every other aquatic plant, um, but it's a lot more unsightly. You know, and there's, there's quick, easy ways to get rid of it, um, whether it's chemical-based or non, but it's not something that I, that I worry a whole lot about other than, you know, is it too bad I can't fish? Well, then we've probably got more issues than just the algae. Mm -hmm. there's, a, you know, there's, a, there's too many nutrients in your pond, there's, there's not enough rooted vegetation, you know, and things like that. So instead of just putting a Band-Aid fix on a pond or that has algae problems, I like to try to get to the root source, which is usually a nutrient issue. All right, and is there other, you see any other around here that stand out among you, some really good aquatic vegetation? Oh, we've got some and they're just not quite up yet. We've got pond weed right here that's just starting to come up, the red leaf. Oh, so um, right here, I see, yeah. Yeah, the red leaf there, that's just starting to come up. Uh, this pond also has coontail in it. You know, and those are both native to Missouri. You're going to find them a lot in our, whether it's our conservation area ponds, whether it's farm ponds, you're going to see those all over the place. And those are, even though they are native, they can become too dense and become an issue. Um, so, you know, that's where a little bit of management, you know, pond management's very similar to, you know, dry ground management. You got to do a little bit of work on it, but coontail and American pondweed are the two best when it comes to having cover for fish and producing food from insects. All right, where can people learn more about aquatic, aquatic um, vegetation and the importance of this? Uh, so uh, the Missouri Pond Handbook is awesome. So stop into any, um, any regional office or conservation office across the state and grab a Missouri Pond Handbook. It is, uh, it's an all-inclusive from you know, like selecting a site to build a pond to your pond is old and silted in you know, what do I, how do I turn it into the best frog pond? And it's got everything in there in between. Um, on top of those, we also have our aqua guides that, um, 
mm -hmm. that are little pamphlets, you know, two, three pagers of, you know, rooted vegetation, lily pads, cattails, stocking ponds, keeping great fish records. We have them covering all different topics. So those are all highly recommended and you can pick those up at any of our conservation offices. All right, I really appreciate it, DJ. Thank you very much. I'm gonna echo what he said, but also I'm gonna echo and say you can find out more information about uh, aquatic vegetation and the importance of it and also the importance of it and also what you can do if you have too much and you should contact all on our website at mdc.mo.gov and you can search in the search bar aquatic vegetations or you can find more information on just typing pond. You can learn all you want on our website at mdc.mo.gov. Thanks for tuning in. We'll have a great rest of the day.